What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Pigskin Panthers advice. Today we're talking Deontay Foreman. 21 carries, 165, and one touchdown. Honestly, he probably could have had 200 yards. We're going to go over a few things. If the Panthers work on this, the run game is going to be nuts. Let's take a look at this play right here. All right guys, right here, they're bringing the receiver in motion. So if they're going to run it, it's most likely got to be to the outside. He's here to seal the edge. Most likely not going to run between here because he's not going to be able to hold his block depending on who he picks up. The guy to watch right here is number 79. He's going to peel off his guy. He sees Foreman. He stops him. And then you see the center. Now, this is something to watch for especially. And it happens a couple times. The center is going to snap it, chip him, and try and pick up this linebacker, I believe, right here. So as the play develops... You see he chips him right here. He's going to try and get off, pick up that linebacker. He misses just barely. Again, 79 doesn't get picked up all the way. If those two guys get picked up, it's most likely touchdown right there. Right here, back to Foreman. Gone. Gone. And, man, how many times were the Panthers close to just breaking off 60, 70-yard runs? All they had left was the safety to beat. Woo! close once again let's take a look how did this happen all right guys there's a lot to unpack here because four men didn't make all 11 guys miss right so how did this happen so right here you're gonna see this defensive back come up on the line of scrimmage now is Donald saying audible which we're gonna see in a second is he telling them to run the counter they're gonna run we don't know for sure so as the play develops it looks like Foreman's gonna take this ball run it right here maybe to this hole that's how it looks. But the guy to watch right here is this receiver. He's going to come across. Because what they're going to run is a counter. Now when he comes across, all he has to do is pick up one of these two guys. One less guy, obviously, for Foreman to make miss. Bam, he picks up that defensive back. Now how does nobody else get him? Well, now we got to watch the center. Watch this. So we just talked about him chipping and then moving, right? So he's going to chip this tackle right here and then move across and take out those two guys. So watch the center. Bang. As Foreman's coming up. Woof. Center's coming this way. Takes out one, two. Foreman goes right off his butt. And that's still got that big, big run. Let's take a look at the next play. All right, guys, from the jump, Lions really are stacking that box. They got about seven, eight guys right there. Defensive back comes in, misses the tackle. Safety misses the tackle. One guy left to beat. And he gets them. But how did this happen? We bring 84 in motion all the way across. All right, guys, as the play develops, you see there's no way that the Panthers can pick up all these guys because bang, 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 bang. Somebody's going to come in untouched. And if you want it to be anybody, you want it to be the defensive back because, for one, they're not as big, and that's probably the less sure tackler on the team. So if that's all Foreman has to make miss, that's all he has to make miss. So as the play develops, defensive back comes in, whoo, Foreman's gone. But how did that happen? Because really the Lions are playing the right defense to stop their run. But take a look once again at the center. Chip this guy, throw him over here. Linebacker's going to come in, get caught up in the scrum over here. Center's then going to go to the linebacker. These two guys hold it down. As the play develops, he chips him, picks up that linebacker, and then bam, gone. Look at that. You're gone. Woo! Again, one guy left to beat. So what do we see from the jump? From the jump, we see a little sidestep by Foreman. And look how quick that cut is. Woo! Right off his butt. At first, I was like, why is that hole there? Oh, because they're running the read option. Now, you're watching Darnold. Darnold, all he has to watch is this guy right here. If he comes in, you fake the handoff. Darnold takes it outside. Probably gets, what, 10, 15 yards maybe? But if he stays out, you give it to Foreman and let Foreman ride his butt all the way up to the top and bang. So look at that one more time. Look at the great job at the line. See the center's going to chip over. Guards going to come over, pick up this linebacker. He's going to seal that edge. So no matter who does what with it, this is completely sealed. So whether he takes it up his butt, that's going to be open. Or he takes it outside, that's going to be open as well. Great read by Donald right there. And Foreman, one guy left to miss again. Now we jump to this play right here. Foreman's going to get it, make a couple guys miss, a couple sidesteps. How does this happen? So from the jump, they're going to bring 82. 
Most likely, they're bringing 82 right here. They probably want to clear this. So whether they chip him right there and he goes picks him up, he picks him up, bang. That's probably the ideal route. But, you know, things never go as planned in life. So as the play develops, what do we see? Oh, perfect. You know, 79's going there, bang. 82's picking up him. One guy left to beat. Problem is, some things you can't account for in life. So the defensive tackle... Beats his guy right here. Roadblock. Whoop. A little sidestep there. All right, what do we have left? Now let's look at what happened to this linebacker, number 55, right here. He was a factor, but Foreman made him miss too. So watch him. Number 55 is waiting to see what is the center going to do. So as the play develops, he's watching the center, watching the center. Center then picks him up, pushes him back just enough, and he gets help from the tackle over here. As you see, he's going to come over. Boom! Take a look at that one more time. Tackle's going to come over and just clear. Clear it. And Foreman just walks right in. Let's jump to the next play. All right, guys, right here. Foreman, once again, gone. Makes one guy miss. He was right there, almost close to breaking another one. Let's take a look. How did this happen? All right, guys, right here, 84 is going to come in. Now, 84 is a big guy, so they could run it up his butt if they wanted to around him. They could have him still the edge either way, however they want to do it. So as the play develops, see 84, he's not going down the block. He could run a route, or he could block, which is exactly what he's going to do there. Didn't give it away. And once again, Foreman goes off his butt right there. Bam. All right, guys, right here. Lions put seven in the box. Now, they get pressure early. You're probably wondering how. You're going to watch 94. He's going to rip underneath this guard's arm. And once he rips underneath and he gets control of you, you're toast, unfortunately. He makes the tackle. If he doesn't rip underneath, Foreman's probably gone again. Watch 94. He's going to rip underneath. At that point, there's nothing that guard can do. except basically just shove him down. So... Good play right there. Let's jump to the next one. All right, guys. On this play, watch what happens here. So as the play develops, bam. Look at all the defenders running this way. Bang. This guy just got beat. There was about to be the size of an ocean right here in the middle. All because they thought it was a stretch to the outside. Foreman's going to cut it up. And, well, you know what happens next. One-on-one with the safety. Safety gets him down with a little bit of help. Deontay Foreman had one hell of a day. Sam Darnold video is coming up. The Hubbard video is coming up. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you on the next one. Pigskin Panthers advice is out.